Our adventurer's journey from the door to Straith has been long and grueling. The last 45 days have been a steady routine of work, drinking, and sleep. In four nights, they will make port. The idea of a hot bath, warm food, and a cool ale has the crew obviously excited. In the middle of a loud sea shanty, the wandering satyr jolts hard to port and lunges to a stop. After a short pause, the quiet below deck is broken by the sound of a warning bell. The crew make their way topside, just in time to witness one of the other ships, impaled by what looks like a gargantuan stone spike that sprung out of the sea. Hey, is that the Admiral? Someone shouts, pointing toward the cliffside beach a thousand yards away. A lighthouse atop the cliff gives off enough light to see Admiral Reslin and his first mate Percy rowing a two-man dinghy to shore. The ocean around the boat swirls with a force never seen before, bludgeoning the side of the ship. This is when they feel the hull of the ship get hit by something. Something unstoppable. Here's the deal. Our players have 10 rounds to get off this boat. After round 10, anyone on this boat is dead. If they fall in the water, they are dead. If they try to swim, they are dead. Here is the die-inspired twist. There are only two lifeboats on the ship and each only holds four players. They better get creative and act fast. I'm Rusko, this is Die Inspired, Convoy to Straith. Let's see where the dice take us. The gust of wind catches the sail above your head. You can hear the strain on the mast. The ship's going down. How's everyone else looking? Confused panic. Some people panic. Okay. Name and or character name? Uh, Trevor and my character name is Tarvos. I want to try to get the dinghy to the side of the ship. Okay. I'll try to un start untying it. Okay, just give me a dex check. An eight. Eight. So you're, you're, you're struggling with the knot. Whoever tied this uh, loans a little bit, little bit more about knots than you do. At the helm, the wheel spins out of control and slams to a stop. Reknar. I loudly yell, shite, the ship is going down. And I start running to the lifeboat right there. Here? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm Tim and my character is Ragnar. I'm a barbarian. Is it possible to cut the, yep. the ropes instead of uh, try to untie roll, them? Roll an attack against the ropes. <laughs> Five. Five? You, yeah. You, a, a, a wave catches the boat and your feet are a little uncertain. All right, just off the port side of the ship, another glassy black spike shoots up out of the water. Did the Admiral just abandon us? <laughs> Layla, stay close. Uh, we need to find Desmond, where is he? Hi, I'm Morgan Dickey. My character's name is Liana Drinkwater and uh, she is rogue. And I've been playing for six years. I'm going to stay up in the crow's nest and search to see if I can see what the other ships are doing and roll a perception. You see all other, the, the other three ships are also in equal peril. All four ships are in the, about the same shape you're in right now. All right, we'll need to act fast. I will load my hand crossbow, not shooting and holding my position. I'm looking for other crewmates to join, to rally. Okay. A shimmering wave catches your eye. It seems to retreat away before it slams into your ship, as if winding up before it strikes. Hey, what's going on? My name is Jonathan Ruley. I play uh, Draven Creed, a sorcerer. I'm currently, he's a graduate from a sorceress academy. Is this some sort of like magic effects that's going on? Like, uh, as a sorcerer, do I recognize this as some sort of knowledge arcana? I do. Yeah. Give me a roll. Sixteen total. The shimmering leads you to believe that there is some, something affecting the water. Not necessarily this wave, but the water around you. The, the shimmering would lead you to believe that there is some sort of magical effect uh, in the water. All right. Uh, who's, who's there right by, who's number 12? Number 12 is Marlin. All right, I'm gonna go over, uh, I'm gonna go over to him. Uh, I'm just like, uh, help me with these, these ropes here. We need to get off this ship before we all sink. There is something unnatural here. I guess I can start uh, trying to either untie, I wanna to try to reserve some of these ropes as possible in case we need them later. Uh, so I assume the dex thing as well. Yeah, dex check. 
Uh, nine. Nine. You, you, you start pulling on the knot, it starts coming free, but it's one of those situations where you're making things just a little bit worse. Um, the water's causing it to tighten. <laughs> it's soaked. <laughs> the lanterns on the ship flare and brighten in unison. Even with the spray from the waves, they don't seem to dim. Name and character name? Lindsay, and my character's name is Layla. Today's your first Today day? Today is the first time I'm doing this. It's gonna be an epic day. <laughs> You are prone, so it's half of your move to stand up. So 15 feet of your move, unless you're a dwarf. Are you a dwarf? No. Okay. So you have 15 feet of movement left. Are these open barrels, or they're all shut? They're all, they all have tops on them. I'm going to go to the bottom of the crow's nest. Okay. Here. And tie myself to it. <laughs> all right. Give me, give me a... you have rope? Yes, I do. Give me a dex check to see how, how well you tie this knot. <laughs> Three. So you have, you're, you're kind of slinging the rope around the mast. The, the wind is catching and making it hard for you to grab the other side. I like where your head's at. I'll improve that for you. The top of the mainsail snaps and hangs precariously from its rigging. Uh, character name is Elto. My name is Brandon. Uh, I work in clinical research. I think we can all agree that the main villain here are the ropes. <laughs> um, I'm going to make my way, uh, how close am I to the edge of the ship? I'm pretty close. You're, you're right next to the, the handrail. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and use Divine Sense, uh, since I'm so close to the water. Uh, 60 feet, Celestial Fiend, undead, uh, anywhere within... Celestial Fiends are undead? Yeah. Uh, you, don't, you, you don't sense any anything with your Divine Sense? I'm going to take my movement to try to get down under, in, like underneath. You want to go down into the cargo hold? Yeah, into the cargo hold. Okay, you have a square. So any any of these six squares here? I'm just going to go 85. 85, okay. And I shout, all right, guys, I'm going to go look under the hood. <laughs> <laughs> I am Domi. I'm playing Marifa today. Okay. The netting holding down a stack of empty barrels comes loose, and a few barrels bounce across the deck. I will use all of my movement to get to the helm and steady it as best I can towards the shore. I have training in uh, water vehicles, so okay. I will try to steady the helm as best I can against the wave. Okay, give me a strength, strength check, or athletics. Okay, oh, sure. Uh, athletics, that will be a 16 total. Okay, so 16, you, you this wheel spinning out of control, you run up and you grab it and you're able to stop it which will stop the ship from, from spinning in a circle. And I will shout, everyone get to the get to the lifeboats, get them down. My name is Chaz and my character name is Ealdrin Sage. He's a, he's a soldier, a sniper, but also working on balancing out the overgrowth of life with destruction. Uh, a scream rings out as the anchor chain breaks, catching the leg of a shipmate at the knee, taking the lower half of his leg with him. Nearby me? Not, yeah, not, not, not far from you. Okay, cool. Um, I, you can't tell if it's, if, it, if it's salt water or blood that sprays your face. Fun. Gross. <laughs> Lovely. Um, I did fail my dex check. So you, so you start so, prone? Yeah, so I, yeah. So from prone, I'll get up from prone and nearby me it's just ropes tying down crates and barrels and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna just go over, I'm gonna move over, over to Ajitado, just get within thin range and use Here. my action to help them okay. on their next turn, yeah. So you're just up there next to Octado, uh, helping him with? Yeah, whatever he decides to do. Okay. <laughs> just to give him an advantage. All right. <laughs> Since we're rolling so you, back. So, so you have help. This boat needs leadership. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, there are not enough lifeboats for us all. We have to prioritize what we can. The dinghies first, then forming rafts, and then perhaps finding floatable objects. Obviously, we need to focus and work as teams, group together. Uh, my name is Alan, and my character name is Marlin Halfsail. Yeah. All right, Marlin. A spray of salt water stings your eyes. The mouthful of, of ocean has a very sulfuric and metallic taste. All right. I'm gonna hold on to my holy symbol, say, God us protect us, and I'm gonna climb into the boat and start untying. So dex, so you're gonna climb here at 185? Mm hmm Okay, dex check. 10. 10. There it is. Got, got one of the, one of the knots, one of the knots pulls free. 
Is that the first one? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you're, a, you're, you're already a hero. Everybody else is having a hard time with these knots. Protect Marlin. <laughs> Everybody's protect Marlin. All right, so I get a spot in the boat, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> Are you a woman or a child? I'm a halfling. Soren. So, yeah, yeah, you're yes. Child. You can pass off as a child. <laughs> the wave crashing over the deck carries the lost anchor, smashing through the handrail. Uh, Soren Holimian, and uh, my name is Liam Agnew. Um, I'm working to be a voice actor. So I'm going to use half my movement to get up since I was knocked prone okay. and failed my deck save earlier. I'm going to see what Ragnar did. Uh, yeah, Ragnar. Um, and then I'm going to pull out my hand axe and try to cut one of the ropes. All right. All right. Um, oh my gosh, that's a 16 with hey. my hand axe. Hey. <laughs> All right. So each boat now has one of the knots untied. Yay. Uh, one of the ropes on the lifeboats comes loose, and the boats start banging around the ship. My name is Nathan Fertuka, and I will be playing Baron Evendale. I am a business analyst in real life, and my character is a elven diplomat. So, I'm going to let you roll any die. This one's odds, this one's evens. Which, which ship gets a random knot coming loose? 